Welcome to week five, day two. All righty. So today we are going to continue our learning with our learning goal. It says, using practical problems, I can investigate fractions by showing fair share. Hmm. So I highlighted some words that we need to remember for our learning goal today. Practical. So practical means anything that we use in our everyday life, our real world things that we use, our real world objects that we use with our math thinking. And then in pink, I have investigate and showing. So investigate means to explore, to dive deeper into our learning and to show, which means to show our thinking, to show what we know about fractions and fair share. Okay, so let's go over some vocabulary. So fraction, a fraction is a part of a whole, all right? And also in our learning goal, fair share, sharing the whole equally. Mm. What's that word equal mean? having the same amount. So today we're going to use our real world objects to help us investigate fractions while we are sharing equally, okay? And what does equal mean? Having the same amount. So today we're going to share fairly, fair share, that's what they call it, and I'm gonna share with you. So I'm gonna have some and you're gonna have some, okay? So but before we get started, I had a pizza delivery, yum, eat. yum, yum. I wish you could smell it, okay? And I'm gonna sing my pizza song. I love pizza. So, I have a whole pizza in my hands, I have a whole pizza. In my hands, I have a whole pizza. In my hands, and now I'll eat some. I have half a pizza. In my hands, I have half a pizza. In my hands, and I have a pizza. In my hands and now I'll eat some. I have no pizza. In my hands I have no pizza. In my hands I have no pizza. In my hands it's just an empty pan. It's all gone. I've eaten it all. All right. So in our song, we heard a couple new words. Did you hear the word whole? So I have whole pizza. My one piece of pizza, all in one piece. My whole, okay? And then when I ate some, mm, I said that I had what? Yes, half a pizza in my hands. So I have half, which is one of two equal parts of the whole. So yep, start off with a whole pizza. Okay, I ate half of it. So this half, this round half, which means that this part is gone. I ate half of it. That's why you only see half, the other half. It's gone, it's in my belly. Okay, so we're going to work with half as we fair share today. So half and equal are what we need to keep in mind today because we're doing fair share. We want to share equally by sharing half. Okay, alrighty. So now we're going to share some foods that I have. So I'm gonna get some and you're gonna get some. And we're talking about fair share. 
We want our share, your part and my part, to be equal. All right. And one way that we can share equally is by showing half of a whole. Okay. So when I was doing my song, I folded my paper plate in half when we're talking about pizza. But usually when you have pizza, we cut it in half and cut it into pieces so it's enough for everyone. Okay. Now, this pizza is showing that I have half cut on my pizza. So you could have a piece and I could have a piece. But I have a question. I'm going to use my marker, pretending that it is my knife. Why wouldn't I cut? Why wouldn't I cut my pizza like that? So that way there's this big piece and this little piece. Is that equal? Mm -mm. I know which piece I'd want if it was cut like this. Which piece would you want? Yes, the bigger piece. And then I'd get the smaller piece. Or I want the bigger piece and I'd have to give you the small piece. Is that equal? No. Is it fair? No way. So we have to make sure that it's cut equally or broken apart equally so that your part and my part are the same. So the line shows that half of the pizza is available. So half to you and half to me. So this is my piece, and then this would be your piece. So when we cut the whole pizza in half, we're left with two pieces, enough for one person and another person to share. Okay, let's try another one. What are these? Yes, these are apples. Now, which one of the apples is the whole? Yeah, the apple, it's still all together. It's nothing broken apart, nothing cut in half. Okay, now this one would be your half. It's part of the apple. So if I was sharing my apple with you, you would get half of the apple. Good job. Okay, let's try another one. I have a whole orange. Now, right now, the orange is just for Miss Cotton to eat. We have an orange for lunch. Now, you could say, Miss Cotton, would you share your orange with me? Sure. I would love to share your orange. Now, how could I cut this orange equally to share with you? Use your finger to draw a line to show how I could equally cut it. So I could draw a line and cut it straight down the middle, right? To show that it is equally cut. So that means you could get half and I could get half, right? Okay. How, what's another way that you could cut? We cut from top to bottom. What's another way? You can cut from side to side. So if I cut my orange in half this way, my half look like this. Now I have half the orange to give to you. That way I can eat half and you can have half. Doesn't the pieces look equal? Yeah. All right, here's a picture of a graham cracker. Do you like graham crackers? I love graham crackers. And I like to break them into pieces. So if I'm sharing my graham cracker with you, what's one way I could break my graham cracker in half to share with you? Use your finger to draw your line or draw your line to show how I could break this in half equally so I can share with you. All right, so if you drew a line down, yes, I could have half for you and half for me. 
Or if you drew a line across, that means that we'd get the longer pieces. You would have half and I'd have half. That's a good way to break graham cracker up. And luckily a graham cracker already gives us the lines. So if a friend asks to share your graham cracker, you can always use the lines to help you break them. All right. So now I have some candy bars. I'm getting hungry. I have a candy bar up here. Now, if I take my candy bar and want to share a piece with you, is this piece equal to this piece? No. Does it help us fair share? No way. Why? Right, because this piece is not equal to that piece. Right now we have a piece that's bigger and a piece that's smaller. Oh, let's try it with this candy bar. Show me with your finger how you would break your candy bar in half to share with me. Great. Did you draw your line? Yes. So half can go to you and half to me. Great. Yummy. I have a sandwich. It looks delicious. It's a big sandwich. Say, no way, you can't eat that by yourself. Can I share your sandwich with you? Sure. How could we cut the sandwich to show an equal share? Use your finger to draw how you would share and cut the sandwich so each of us could have an equal part. Okay. Now this sandwich is a little different because it's not standing straight up like we usually see our sandwich. This sandwich shows that we could have triangle sandwiches, triangle pieces. So one part would be your triangle and then the other part would be my triangle. So we can cut them into diagonal. So we cut a line from one corner to the next corner. Diagonal pieces, okay? Now, if we're using a regular piece of bread, here's my piece of bread. So if we're talking about a sandwich, I like usually when I make my sandwiches, I cut them in half because I like to have a piece for lunch and a piece for later. So how could we share our sandwich? How could we cut it in half so it could be an equal share? So you can get a piece and I can get a piece. Right, we can draw a line from top to bottom. So that way you can get a piece and I can get a piece and it's equal. Now, I saved the best part for last. I have a yummy, 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 yummy Pop-Tart. Which one's your favorite flavor? Good, yum, I'm getting hungry. How could you break this Pop-Tart equally? What's that word that we use? Right, half. How could we break this Pop-Tart in half? So that way you get a piece and I get a piece. Yeah, use your finger to draw your line. All right, you can break it in half or break it in half. Oh, me, good job. I'm getting hungry. All right, so today, your practice set looks like this. Yep. I'm getting hungry? I'm getting hungry too. All right. So you're going to draw a line to show half of each object to be shared equally between two shares. Now you're going to share and draw a line to show half 
of these objects. So we did, we showed the orange and the graham cracker today. So you're now going to show the cookie and the watermelon, what would half look like. And then at the bottom, you're going to draw a picture of a candy bar. Draw a line to show how it can be shared with two shares. So you and your parent, or you and your brother or sister, how would you share your candy bar with someone who asked you to have a piece? Okay, how did you do with fractions today? Were you able to meet the learning goal? Using practical problems, I can investigate fractions by showing fair share. So remember our practical problems were our real life objects that we use, that we see in our everyday, when we're home or at school, those are things that we see when we go out into the world. So we were able to investigate fractions by learning how to break, cut, or draw to show half to sh and to show fair share. All right, so let's review some of the vocab words we learned today. All right, fraction, a part of the whole. Fair share, sharing the whole, what's that word? Equally, equal, having the same amount. Yep, it's gotta be equal. If someone asks for a piece, ask them if they want it to be equal or they just want a piece. Most of the time people want it to be equal. Okay, whole, all in one piece, the whole thing, just one piece. And today we learned half, one of two equal parts of the whole. Remember, if you're sharing with somebody and they say, can I have half? They want a, the same piece like you get versus a little piece and a big piece. Okay, so you're going to complete the Practice set where you have to draw your lines to show half and draw your picture of your yummy candy bar. And I want you to have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you later.